Let me now bring on board Shikhar Sharma, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Axis Bank. Uh, Ms. Sharma, good morning. Thank you for joining us. What is your take on asset quality for your bank and for the industry as a whole? And do you see signs of improvement uh, going forward? So, in asset quality, uh, since we've seen uh, slowdown in growth for uh, several quarters now, I think uh, it's not surprising that there has been an increase in uh, uh, delinquency and uh, non-performing loans coming largely from uh, large mid-corporates. Uh, retail loans, I think, for the sector as a whole have performed well. Um, and uh, SME loans as well. Uh, I guess it depends sector by sector, but some of the sectors have actually held up pretty well. As the economy begins to turn and we see growth come back and as interest rates uh, come down so that uh, the burden of uh, debt servicing comes down on companies, I think uh, one should assume that trade quality, the worst is behind us and we should begin to see improvement going forward. Mm. You've recently raised, Shikha, a good amount of capital through the QIP. Where do you stand in terms of capital adequacy now and do you have a year further capital raising plans as well? Uh, so we last raised capital in 2009 and uh, we had indicated at that point of time that the capital was sized to be able to fund growth for three years. Uh, even this time, uh, that's how we've sized the capital. We've sized the capital to be able to fund growth as we see it for the next three years. So with the current uh, raise of about a billion dollars, our tier one will go to about uh, 11, close to 11.4 percent. And uh, as I said, that should last us in terms of funding growth for the next three years. Chika, what uh, has been your credit and deposit growth for the first nine months of this fiscal? And uh, in terms of some guidance, what could be the number for FY14? So I think for industry as a whole, credit growth has been subdued this year. It's been, we expect that the year may end anywhere between 15 to 16 percent. And again, that's a direct result of uh, showing GDP plus also a subdued investment environment. As far as uh, savings is concerned, uh, Savings has grown slower this year again compared to you know uh, many many years that uh, we've seen the data. So savings growth has been just just a tad below 14 percent, and uh, I think that's again come from uh, an environment where inflation is high, so household saving rates have come off a little bit, but uh, also households have invested more towards um, real assets like. Um, real estate and gold and that diverted away savings from uh, the financial sector. Within financial savings, again, given a high rate environment, we've seen uh, consumers invest a bit more in retail term deposits. I think as inflation begins to come under control and uh, the interest rates come off, um, you know, household savings have remained intact and uh, therefore I think growth should come back. But definitely this year it's been subdued. Chika, are you seeing signs of corporate uh, credit improving? Because we've seen access focus on retail credit of late. Will this trend continue going forward as well? So, you know, corporate credit, obviously, uh, the growth will come uh, as the investment cycle comes back. And uh, we've seen a lot of positive steps being taken at the macro level in terms of improving the confidence of consumers and uh, corporate houses. So I'm sure we will see investment come back, uh, though it may still take a couple of quarters to do that. Uh, Axis has uh, a diversified portfolio uh, where we are focused on both corporate credit and retail credit. And we will pursue opportunities as they emerge in the market. But we are focused on all of, the, all of these segments, uh, corporate, SME, and retail. Shikha, you've recently raised rates on uh, long-term fixed deposits. How concerning is the slump in the deposit growth and how will you tackle it? So the Access uh, Liability franchise has done very well. And uh, in an environment where savings growth has slowed, we are uh, happy that you know we, we've actually done a bit better than the industry as far as savings growth is concerned. On uh, household deposits, uh, we, we're quite happy with 
the deposit growth that we are seeing between savings and retail term deposits. Uh, the change in rates is more tweaking of rates in particular maturity. We haven't actually changed rates uh, across maturity buckets. And what's your outlook on lending rates going forward? You know, we've always said that uh, the ability to cut lending rates is dependent upon what's happening on uh, cost of funds. So, uh, you know, with the, with the cut in CRR, there is some impact in terms of cost of funds. But as term deposit rates come off uh, and cost of funds come down, I'm sure that will get passed on to consumers. And uh, finally, go to ask you the obvious question, which is what are your expectations from budget 2013? Uh, I think clearly, you know, the fact that uh, savings growth has been slow, I think some incentivization for long-term savings, not just for the banking sector, but for broadly the savings uh, um, instruments, whether it's pensions, insurance, or long-term savings to bank deposits, is something that may be worth looking at in the budget. But um, other than that, um, I think what, we, what all of us want to see is a budget which is growth and investment oriented and uh, yet brings fiscal consolidation. I know it's a tough ask, but uh, that's, one, that's what one hopes to see in the budget.